Hey guys, what's up? It's your middleman CEO, Sean John. Welcome to the channel. Uh, hit subscribe, hit thumbs up if you are not already subscribed. And if you get value from any of the content, smash the thumbs up. That's the only way I know that this stuff is helping you. And uh, if you don't mind, share the channel with at least one person who might benefit from this content. And, and uh, you know, also watch as many free videos as you like. So this channel is put here to help you. Uh, to focus on not only getting yourself financially prepared for whatever in God's name is to come, and it's going to be bad, and it is coming, uh, but also this channel is about helping you learn to make money when you're not at work. So a big part of this channel is financial freedom and some financial education. So I just want to help you be your best, do your best, live your best life. Is that okay? A lot of us, we're living our stress life, and that ain't that ain't where we want to be, right? We want to live our blessed life, not our stress life. And uh, so, but I just wanted to share that with you. So, uh, by the way, uh, if you have not been in any of my live trainings, you have missed out, but I got a gift for you. Uh, if you want to learn what I do, which is run a business from your phone, that means you don't have to be at work, you don't have to have a job, as long as you have your phone, you can make money. So what do I do? I have a middleman business. All I do is simply find customers for businesses. I do my, I use my phone to do it, right? And then I book the customers with my phone, either through an email, through a text or a phone call, I don't care. And I book the customer, the customer pays me a deposit for my booking. And I put the deposit into my bank account and then I dispatch the work to service professionals who do the work. So you don't have to do the work. All you have to do is find customers for businesses, make money to find those customers, and then send the work to the businesses, right? That's why I call it the middleman. In fact, that's what Uber does. That's what Airbnb does. That's what Instacart does, Lyft does. It's the same system that made those companies worth billions of dollars. We're just gonna use it to help ourselves to make some money, right? So uh, put middleman in the comments if you wanna get an invite to the free live training that's coming up, 7 p.m. Uh, Texas time, Central time. So drop middleman in the comments. Move quickly because we, we're limiting uh, the amount of people that's gonna be there. So. Uh, there are some things that you probably don't think about that I think about that's going to destroy uh, your finances in a lot of cases. And so you might think of things like your paycheck as, a, as an asset. But here I am, some random guy on YouTube telling you that your paycheck can also, even though it does help you tremendously, of course, but it can also be a liability. What? My paycheck can be a liability? Absolutely. Why? Because you can become dependent on your paycheck. Your paycheck can become a liability to you because it is your only, 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 your what? Your only source of income. That makes it a liability. So you're going to say, well, Sean, it's an asset. And I'm going to, I'm going to say, sure, it's an asset as long as you need it and you can get it. Of course, absolutely. But I also want you to understand there's two sides to this, right? Everything exists in the law of polarity, right? Can't be one without the other. Can't be up unless there's a down. Can't be high unless there's a low. Can't be inside unless there's an outside, right? So I need you to understand that your paycheck is going to become, if it's your only source of income, it's a liability to you. The reason being is because you become dependent on it. And this hurts you. Liabilities are painful. So this is painful to you because the risk is, because people always say, man, starting a business, a business is risky. What? You know what's risky? Counting on a job to take care of me for 40 years and then retire me. And the government pay me after that. That's risky. Because I found out the government is broke. So uh, you want me to count on the government to take care of me and you want me to call starting a company or taking a risk on myself is risky? No, working a nine to five, paycheck to paycheck for the rest of your life, that's risky. And and it's probably not even risky now that I think about it, it's damn near guarantee. It's probably no risk to it. <laughs> it's probably no risk to it. I can almost predict your future, okay? I can almost predict it, but I want to show you that your paycheck is a liability. But I can almost predict your future if you are convinced 
that you don't need to make money any other way, that your job is safe and secure, that your paycheck's always gonna be there. All right, let me lay out your future. Tell me if I got it. We'll talk again in 30 years and you tell me what happened. I'm willing to bet that if your paycheck, which is a liability, is your only source of income, right? Your only source of income. Now I get it, don't quit your job. That's not what I'm telling you. And, and, and simple minds, uh, even the simple-minded people should understand what I'm saying. So don't jump in my comments with the foolishness, okay? Uh, understand what I'm saying. There's nothing wrong with a paycheck. But if your paycheck is your only source of income, it is a liability to you, right? So the reason it's a liability is because it's your only source of income. So if you rely on your job on your and you say, Sean, I'm not doing anything else. I got a safe, secure job, buddy. You're wrong. They're going to take care of me. I'm going to be here. They're not fire me. I'm an asset to the company. And then when I retire, they're going to give me this pension. And then the government's going to bless me and take care of me the rest of my life. Okay, gotcha. But that's what you're dreaming about. That's the risk. Let me tell you how it's probably actually going to go down. Uh, number one, the government is negative $35 trillion in their bank account. Imagine if your bank account was negative $35 trillion. You wouldn't be taking care of anybody. But yet, you think these, this government is going to take care of you. Number two, uh, hold on a second. All right, number two, you think your job is safe and secure. I'm here to tell you that it's not. There's no such thing as a safe, secure job. Won't happen. Uh, you would be hard pressed to find someone who's been at a job for the last five years, uh, let alone 10, 20, 30. It's just not going to happen. Number three, uh, these pensions are going to be ripped off and ripped out of your hands. I'm here to tell you your 401k has already been ripped from you. Now, you guys are sitting there. Think about this. 401k over the last few years lost has to half their value. Listen, when the 401k loses money, the money doesn't go in a trash and gets burned and thrown away. That ain't what happened. Money gets transferred. So the question you have to be asking is, who got my money? Who's got my money? So my 401k went from 20,000 to 10,000. That doesn't mean you took 10,000 out and threw it in the trash and it's just gone. No, it was transferred. It transferred out of my account into someone else's account. So the question I got now is, who's got my money, right? So you guys, you guys think that, hey, when the, when the markets lose money, that money just disappeared. No, 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 no. That money's gotten transferred to somebody else's pockets, right? The asset owners, right? You're not the asset owners. Your your 401k is what's making everybody rich. Yeah, because you keep, they told you to retire yourself. That's what they told you. The company told you, we're not retiring you. Retire yourself. If you don't contribute, you won't have retirement. Now, most people don't have much money in their retirement account. So tell me, how are you going to retire and be taken care of? They told you to retire yourself. You didn't. Now who's going to take care of you? Oh, the government's going to take care of you. How? The government's negative $35 trillion. They're already telling you Social Security won't be around. Medicare's in trouble. They can't even fund these programs unless you go to work. That's why they train you in school to get jobs so they can tax you. Hello? If the government stopped taxing paychecks, then schools would close down. They wouldn't even need them. They're only there to help you to earn a paycheck so the government can bust you up like Mike Tyson. Right? That's all it's there for. Whether, you know, whether it's good or bad, I'll leave that up to you, but I'm just telling you why it's there. Right? So you start relying on your paycheck. Your, your paycheck is now a liability. Meaning what? Meaning if you lose your paycheck, you lose everything. How do I know this? Because your paycheck pays for everything. Think about it. Your lifestyle is determined by your paycheck. Where you live, where your kids go to school, what you wear, what you drive, everything. What you eat, it's all determined by your paycheck. When I had a struggling paycheck, McDonald's was my choice. I was always at McDonald's. Then when I started making a little more money, all right, I, I can upgrade now. Come on, let's go to Cane's. Let's go to Chick-fil-A. Started making a little more money. All right, let's go to Texas Roadhouse. A little more money. Hey, let's let's go to uh, Del Frisco's. Let's go get some steak. My wife's a steak eater. I'm not. I like pork chops. So, but that's where you are. And so if you don't learn how to make money, that's why I'm doing this live free training. Uh, it's going to be 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm going to teach you how to use your phone to do three things. Book customers, take deposits, then dispatch to work to someone else. Put middleman in the comments if you want to be there. 
guys, listen, your paycheck is a liability. You cannot rely on it. You cannot trust it. You cannot put your faith in these companies. They are looking to get rid of you. Please don't for a second. Uh, I told my daughter this the other way, the other day. I said, don't ever think for a second that these jobs care about you, right? Don't ever think for a second that you can't lose your job. Uh, don't ever think for a second that you're Beyonce and you're, you're, you're irreplaceable. Don't you for a second. You, you ain't Beyonce. You ain't even the fiance, right? So don't for a second think that you're irreplaceable. Learn how to make money while you still have a job so that you can take control of your life, your time, your freedom, and live life on your terms. Put middleman in the comments. I'll see you in the live training. The 10% that is. The 90%, keep relying on that job. Keep believing in safe, secure. Keep relying on the government to take care of you. And hopefully one day uh, we won't find you panhandling on the side of the road or in front of a store because I'm telling you what's coming. Whether you believe it or not, that's up to you. Peace.